Hi, everybody. Greetings, friends. It's the Jim. And Dave. Beer, beer review. review. Hey, Dave, what's on tap for this beer review? We have got some some Hardywood Sidemo <laughs> coffee some stout. Wood. Sidemo. Oh, coffee stout, right. Sidemo. Right. Sidemo. 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 Potato, potato, whatever. Hey, Dave, there's something I want to address really quick. You know, we had a comment on one of our reviews, uh, one of our more popular ones, and someone said, I think, we didn't give it a good rating. The guy said, I think this is good beer. These guys should stick to uh, reviewing Bush and uh, some other macro beer. I was just like, what? Do we not say often enough, we have our own tastes, it's for us, it's, you know, not necessarily going to be everybody's taste. We have taste. a hater out there? Ah, it was a negative comment. And we say oh. good or bad, put it down, but I was just like, it hurt me. He said, go review Bush. Have we ever reviewed Bush? No. I mean, the beer? <laughs> you gotta get a negative C-H. Oh, I, you met the other boys. This is Jim and Dave. <laughs> Bush review, <laughs> ladies, come on over. <laughs> poo, but, poo. Sorry, but no, seriously, uh, we uh, we were gonna try Bush at one point. I tried Bush way back in the day. Yeah, back in the day when we back in the day when I was in my twenties, I used to drink Bush. That was cheap. And never again. Yeah, that was one of those things. As long as I have enough money to buy at least a case of Yingling, I will never buy a case of Bush ever again. Yeah, Yingling, even though they use corn as an adjunct, at least it's a decent lager. The but, brown, the, the, the black and tan is my go-to. And Rolling Rock used to be decent. I remember we once got a horrible six-pack. Well, we once had a horrible six-pack over at John's house, yeah. and we were like, we're never drinking this again. But then I got it when it was fresh. I think I Because we didn't, we didn't know beer about beer then. being too spoiled back then. Cause was, I think I was 18 when I drank that beer. Yeah, probably. And I got drunk off of it. All right, sorry to digress. I just wanted to say, anyway, we, we welcome your comments, but you know, don't, don't, don't be mean about you it. You can Let's... hate me if you want. Okay. You well, can, well, can hurt my feelings. Any kind of comment. You said we said before, any kind of comment's a comment. Yeah, good, bad, I guess. Okay, you well. Know, it's just in America, the land of the free and the brave. Well, yeah, the guy got And sometimes that's stupid. Yeah. Okay? Do Don't like our show? Dumas. Switch your channel. Yeah, what he said. Ice hole. Exactly. Corn sucker. Although, oh, I should tell Corn you something else, too. Um, do you remember that one time you did one of these? I got up and left, and we had to start the review over. Oh, yo, I saw something you did the other day, and I, we're going to talk about this later. Okay. Uh, well, I basically, I put it, that up on YouTube because this one girl calls up and says, you guys are really funny. Do you ever do any beer review with farts in it? Because I think farts That's are That's really the one funny. I'm talking about. And I was just like, oh, no, we, we don't put farts. I, mean, I, don't like to, I said to her, I don't even like to put burps on here. I yell at Dave when he burps on here because no one wants to see that. But when she asked for that, and I was going through the beers I was uploading, I found the false start where Dave farted. I said, okay, and I'm not going to put it on the regular list, with, but... Without my permission, I say, well, right now. Okay. Without my permission. Well, it's it's a. I am okay with it, but without my permission... But you know what? I sent her the link in, in her comment that yeah. she did, and she's like, oh my God, that's the funniest thing I ever did. So if it just makes one of our viewers happy, yeah. we're willing to do it. All right, we're at three and a half At my minutes. expense. So, Dave, please, what can you tell us about this beer? Um, Get back to focus. This is Sorry a, for the digression. It's, no, it's... To, hey, hey, look. This is our, our beer reviews. We uh, do it the way we want. Oh, we didn't have our pre-beer review beer either, so we no, might give this a little this too good a review. Good. Beer style is Russian Imperial Stout brewed with locally roasted ah. coffee. Our quest to brew the quintessential coffee beer began over a cupping with the coffee gurus from Richmond's Lamplighter Roasting Company. Can you put a little more words in there? Their Cupping? Ethiopia Cinemaco coffee Cinemaco. was messily roasted to highlight the single origin beans bright, crisp body and <laughs> very undertones. Undertones. Making it coffee. harmoniously beautiful with our mm. Russian Imperial Stout. May this beer warm your spirits in these brisk winter months. I'm feeling warm already. Best with Hardwood Cinemaco. What's it bet with? Coffee stout pairs mastery with pastries. Pastries. Ooh, pastries. With spiced donuts and all the matter of sweet cakes. Ooh, sweet cakes. The roasted chocolate carrot in Cinemaco uh, 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 coffee stout sweet embraces cakes. sweet cream and chocolate-based desserts, while the beer's Pleasant City Ooh, coffee, chocolate. roast coffee bitterness provides a harmonious contrast. A Perhaps harmonious contrast. Perhaps a perfect complement to Cinemaco coffee stout would be a Belgian waffle. You just throw with okay a in warm there. sauce and a side of whipped cream and berries. Whipped cream and berries. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All the right. original gravity is 1.092. 
Oh. The strength is 9.3 ABV. The color is 45L, which is a pretty dark color. Bitterness is 55 IBUs. The availability is winter. Next release date is 1 2 2016. The package is in, let's see, you got the big bottles, you got the drafts, you got the cask, 10.8 gallon freaking 4.5 gallon pins. Hmm. Categories reserved beer series. First release date January 2013. There's some kind of bike on the back there, Dave. Uh, 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 what? Yeah, that was a lot of reading you did there. Uh, I did, and I did it pretty well. Hardywood Park Simicale. Craft Brewery. Simicale. Founders and Brewers, Eric and pa pa Patrick. Uh, uh, oh, here it says uh, Eric McKay and Patrick Murtal. Or what's one? For you guys, we are drinking still. Right. Not for me. Not for me. For you. Mm. A little bit of uh, mist coming off the top there. there mist? Yeah. Pouring this in equal amounts just in case you know, anything's settled. We want to have equal amounts here. You're beautiful. You have to. <laughs> We were reviewing Weyerbacher last week, and by the time we got done all the high BVs, I said, oh, those are good beer reviews. <laughs> 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 what so happened? Kind of, we're more so, prepared this week. We had coffee earlier. Yeah, and more sleep. <laughs> and more sleep and nap. I had a little nappy poo. Well, I worked nights, so I had my sleep for the day. All right. A little bit left. We'll split. Well, let's, yeah, let's not try to be overly crass. Let's leave a little... Well, Dave, I'm catching notes already. I don't know what's up with the bike, though. It says, uh... Wow, that's sweet. Something in there. Root with coffee. Okay, we got that. Uh, this is dark. All right, hold it up to the light over there. Yep, that is dark. Can't dark SRM, as they say. Berries. Hmm, a little bit. There's, uh... Um, oh, berries. I smell a lot of berries in here. Very tan head here. It's pretty much even in More color. berries than anything. Berries. Hmm. Not a whole lot of coffee. A little Berries. Bit. It has a sweet smell it's to very it. Very sweet. Very sweet. Very sweet. Not very, but very sweet. Hmm. Interesting. We get some. I'm some gonna go tune my grand roasted, piano. Roasted notes. Oh yes, I suppose it's a snifter. We should hold it like this. Mm. All right. Well, shall we? See, there you go, Pete. Cheers. Here we snifters this week. Hmm. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, I give it a two. Here you go. <laughs> and meatballs? <laughs> no. Don't ever give it a false rating. When you're very, very... Oh, it's like, keep you it away, away from Jim. Right? <laughs> way, way over here. here. Way over here. <laughs> you cannot see it anymore. See, way over here. Well, that was very smooth. Yeah, it was smooth. Good aftertaste. Yeah, oh, just... just a bit sweet going down. Mmm. Maybe a little too sweet going down. Mm. No, Very strong sweetness to it. Actually, I find the sweetness a welcome balance to some of the bitter beers we have. That's you know the seven beer people. Don't 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 just don't go. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, by all means, uh, do not drink this beer quickly. This is meant to be enjoyed. Uh, it is a sipping beer. And I can certainly um, appreciate a sipping beer. Uh, but mm, very good and uh, uh, welcome. Shall we say? addition to the beers we've tried because uh you know dave and i aren't necessarily um I'm, what you want to call um, india pale ale guys we like a good one but uh we've gotten some again harsh feedback over our particular likes of style like the one time i said i like it balanced one says it's not supposed to be balanced it's not okay uh, yeah everybody has their own interpretation of what they should like and not like yeah but, uh, mm, mm, mm. just go tune your grand piano uh, so, um, Dave, thoughts on the taste? You likey. You likey? Uh, good, you good. Very strong, strong berry taste going down. I don't, I don't have a lot of coffee. I don't have a lot of coffee to it. It doesn't smell, it doesn't taste like coffee. It tastes more like berries. Well, there is a berries. I do get some coffee. I do get some slight roasted notes, but it's okay, very Okay, a little sweet. bit of coffee, but I just had it there, but it's very strong. 
Well, you think it's a little too chilled? Maybe we shouldn't have left it in the, ref the refrigerator so long. Maybe it's better warmer. Did it say anything about the temperature? 55 to serve it? degrees. Well, uh, well, okay. I take it back. It's not that. Let me go get my thermometer. Mm -hmm. I do have a steak thermometer. I wonder if that would work on something like this. But I think that's for higher temperatures, not lower. I do not know. But yeah, this is um, it's interesting. I'm just looking at this uh, artwork back here from Lamp. I like the bottle. Nice, nice bottle. Nice label on the bottle. Well, you can have it if you want. But, you know, it's kind of funny, you know, it's like, um, I, I do graphic design, and one of the things I think is funny here is that it has a little coffee bean in the coffee. And while that's cute and all that, I think it's a trifle obvious, uh, but, you know, it, it's fine. I'm nitpicky. It's like, as if the big words that say coffee stout were enough, you should put a coffee bean in there, too. Uh, I think this deserves two cheers, don't you? Okay. Hmm. So my thoughts on the flavor. Okay, mm. uh, I like this a lot. I think sometimes that some of these uh, coffee stouts, they try a little too hard. They're almost uh, harsh. It's like, here's roasted notes, pow. Here's the coffee notes, pow. Do you taste it? Do you taste it? Of course you taste it because we made it that strong. This is interesting in that it is, uh, it's a little more subtle. About the temperature. Sometimes drinking beer like this cold, it's not that you cold. should wait, let you drink like half of it cold, then wait till it warms up. Well, we can certainly do that. And drink the rest of it warm. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's, um, we'll you splice the two things together and you come out with a, well, well I, that, I, that involves editing. That's not raw and uncut, is it? Well, for the main channel, it can be. And uh, so, yeah, we can certainly come back. And or worse comes to worse, for the raw and unedited, we can put something down in the comments that after Dave and I let it sit for blah, 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 half an hour okay, or whatever, we, can do that. we had this thought. But uh, let's give it a number now. We're already 12 minutes. We've been oh, blah, 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 I'm enjoying it. I would been to talk to you, but you, but you, but Thank you for the name. I like it a lot. Uh, give it an eight. Uh, I think I'm going to give it... Higher than eight, eight point two five. Oh goodness! At least I am giving a smidge over Dave because I like it better than him. He's gonna watch this. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, very very good. Um, it doesn't have the. It seems very simple. It doesn't have, say, the complex note of a a dragon's milk, which is not a coffee yeah. stout. So that's not a fair comparison. I've been spoiled by Wirebachers and dragon milk. Please. Yeah, um, Wirebachers fantastic. So it, it doesn't have a lot of those like. Oh, I have this note. I have that note. It's got a thousand. Victory. This is, seems it's a very simple coffee stout, Big bear black stout, but it does have some nice undertoning Old notes. Dominion. That, um, like for instance, I would almost say there's almost a cream component here. Cream. Uh, well, I, for the sweetness, a, it's a berry. Berry, 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 berry. 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 Oh, when I think of berry, I think of raspberries, blueberries. It blueberry. Doesn't... It's like a blueberry. And then you see that blueberry, and I read the thing about the blueberry. It's blueberry. Blue, blue blueberry. All right. Well. There's a hint, but I still get enough roastedness that covers that up for me. Okay. So there you have it. So yeah, very, very good. Recommend beer. this beer. See? I would buy this beer, beer if I had a lot of money. Uh, yeah. Because this bomber wasn't cheap, by the way. No. But uh, it was reasonable. No, it's not an oversized. That's a normal one. Like, you're welcome. That's a that's a, that's a normal one. I mean, you could buy a whole case, you could buy a whole case of, of Labatt's 24 ounces, 12 pack. For eleven dollars and ninety nine cents, right? And that thing costs more than that. a whole case of beer. Yeah. Well, how much was this? Actually, this wasn't too bad. Thirteen dollars. Thirteen, right, right, right. Put the sticker on the bottom so it would be on the camera. But uh, yeah, so no, actually, for the price, I think this is pretty good. I like this. I'd recommend this beer. I'd buy this beer. You bought and this beer. And if if you like um, if you like coffee stouts, you should definitely try this one. Again, we're gonna let this one sit for a while. Maybe we'll do another review while it warms up, and we'll come back to you and uh, oh, let yeah. you know your thoughts. So. We should put this one over here, and then have another beer review, and then try it afterwards. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. All right, well, we're running out of time here. We're at a 15-minute limit on YouTube for people like me who don't really let them advertise. We're so. not partners. Thank you very stuff. much for watching. Um, more people comment below, thumbs stuff, up, thumbs down, subscribe to our channel. We can monetize And really quick, uh, don't drink and drive. Don't drink if you're pregnant. Don't drink if you're an a-hole. Um, yeah, don't drink if it's bad for your health. Be nice. You got a lot of a-holes. It's Puff, the beer cat. Make a quick Maybe appearance at the end of the beer review. All right, everybody. Thank you, and uh, good night. Goodbye, Dave. Goodbye, Dave.